Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today we're going to talk about resonance and the, the reason for this is, is that I want to talk about a resonance watch, a res resonance watch and how they work and sort of the whole phenomena of resonance in watchmaking and actually in clock making and all other kinds of things. Uh, a guy named Christian uh, Hugens, this is back from, he was, he lived between 1629 and 1695. He was a Dutch mathematician and, phys and physicist who invented the pendulum clock. And one of the things that he noticed was that when he put the clocks near each other, the pendulums were whichever way they were going after a while would start going the same way like this and this is would would be considered to be in in resonance with one another now there's another uh another uh, watchmaker uh clockmaker actually His name was anti uh john Deere, and he made a resonance watch he made a great big like a grandfather clock and he had these two pendulums, and he'd start the two pendulums, and after a while, they would start going together like this. By the way, uh, if you if you uh, Google um, resonance in the um, in YouTube, there are a lot of really good uh, demonstrations of how it works. Usually, uh, what what someone will do is that they'll take these uh, two strings or more. And they'll have these uh, weights on the end. The weights are similar. And then they'll start one, and it'll go back and forth like this. And they'll start the other. And they're going along. And after a while, they come together. That's <laughs> the phenomena of, of resonance. And it, it, can, it can throw things off in a watch. <laughs> That's one of the problems. Now, Abraham Brigade uh, was, this is, this is a little more complex, uh, either working with uh, John Vierre, either he made it according to John Vierre's instructions or John Vierre made it <laughs> under under uh, Breguet's uh, supervision. I'm not sure which way it goes, but the important thing was, was that Breguet made three different uh, resonant watches and they what would happen is that the they would go back and forth and work. Now, to give you an idea of how this works, I, I put together a little uh, gizmo here. And if if we so take this out of the way for now, if we look at this, this is this is a pendulum swinging back and forth. Okay. And then if you have a second pendulum starting to swing like this. And let's say they're going in opposite directions. After a while, they'll go together. <laughs> okay. They'll both adjust to one another's um, frequency. And the the details of how that works, I'm not really sure. But it, the, the observation made by Christian uh, Hughes back in the fifth, uh, 17th century shows that it does work. All right. Uh, so next what we'll do is we'll see what's going on in a watch. What I've done now is that I've moved what is essentially the pendulum onto a balance wheel. And if you, if you think of a balance wheel in terms of a pendulum, each like this, each one of the spokes of the balance wheel can be seen as somewhat like a pendulum. Now, the balance wheel turns in into what are called semi-oscillations, and they they cover about 200 and something degrees with the semi-oscillation, okay? So they're going like this, and think of that, the one with the green tips, as a pendulum, okay? Now, what we should be able to see with with resonance is that the each one of the of the of the two pendulums 
are in sync. And so when one is going up here, the other one is up here, and then they go down and around. And then each time you can see the end of them meeting each other before they start the for the next uh, semi-oscillation to go like that. All right, so, but this is, this is what the pendulums are doing. They're simply swinging together like this. And the, what two synchronized, I'll use that term for lack of a better one, but two balances in resonance are doing is they're like the, like the two pendulums, all right? They're going together, except they're on a balance wheel, all right? So we'll take a look and see what that looks like next. As the two balance wheels uh, spin, they, they almost look like there's some kind of connection between them to keep them coordinating. As each semi-oscillation comes to its end, so to speak, you can see how they both end and start at the same time. And if you, if you look at the uh, spokes, or one spoke on each one, you can see how they, how they move in the same direction. Now, essentially what you have in this resonance watch are two watches, and they're coordinated by the, the resonance. And if you look at the dial on the dials, you can see how the second uh, hands are the exact same second as well as the hour and the uh, minute. Uh, the second hands are important because there's a, um, a puller at four o'clock that synchronizes them. And so they're the most synchronized. Sometimes you get a little off on setting the hour and the minute on, on these uh, two opposite dials. Okay, well, um, it did exactly what it said it was going to do. The, when well, we see the, the two uh, balance wheels, they're going together. They start an oscillation together. They end an oscillation or semi-oscillation. They're going like that as we saw that. Now, some people declare, and that's the only word I can use. They haven't discovered. They simply declare resonance doesn't work. Uh, it's, it's like the same people who essentially say that flu shots cause autism. And as a result, there was an outbreak of measles and some kids died from it simply because based on no evidence whatsoever, somebody makes that declaration and then it's repeated and repeated. Uh, and it's, but resonance, I mean, it's sort of like if I said, you know, there's no such thing as gravity. I, and I declare it loudly. It's, the world is flat and we're all <laughs> heavy enough that we that we don't fall off. You know, it, it it's one of those things that sort of drives me crazy. You, you get these, these, they're like belief systems. This is not a religion or anti-religion. It's simply physics, all right? And there is a difference between physics and I'll, chatter. I, I, you know, it, it's not something to, I mean, one could argue, I guess, you know, as the world is flat or, or a sphere uh, until you're blue in the face and show satellite pictures and then they start saying, oh, it's a hoax or something like that. It's not. It's, it's a phenomenon. And what F.P. Jorn has done, what uh, I think as Armin Strom has done and some other um, uh Beat Holloman has done, they have made resonance watches. And in looking at this, what you can see, uh, this was this has been going on for days now, but what it will do with the timing is that it keeps them identical. Even the second hands, the second hands are are set with this little uh, puller at, uh, I think it's at four o'clock, and you pull that out, you put them back together, push it back in again, and the two second hands go to 12 o'clock, 
and for days now they they're doing the same thing they're in perfect sync these are two essentially different movements within the same watch uh they get their power as you can see from two different barrels up here and they're two different um gear trains and but they're set in resonance and so you can set them in such a way and with this kind of arrangement you can really see it in fact if i have any criticism of this watch is that fp jorn changed him <laughs> i asked him at the meeting i said what did you change him for and there was like well this was blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it didn't i think wasn't quite clear but it was something on it well we got to change the style every now and then I don't know why they did that. I like this one. And you can see that these two times are identical. The second hands are identical. Anyway, uh, this, is, <laughs> this is what resonance watches are. The problem with resonance watches, they're not easy to make. They take a lot of time. They take a lot of skill. And, uh, and having one has, has just been... A real joy for me because I mean it, it's a fun watch to have. Uh, so anyhow, that's what resonance is. And if one comes your way, uh, it's it's worth having. By the way, too, there was an interesting resonance watch that was made by the FP Jorn uh, uh, Chronomet Resonance uh, in 2019, and they only did it for one year. One side was. Uh, they, they look very similar. One side was 12 hours and the other was 24. And and you could, uh, and then, but the second hands were synchronized and so forth. They, and you could see it's in resonance. And that was only going to be for one year of uh, 2019. So I, I'm, I think sometime later this month, they're going to come out and tell us uh, what the new uh, dials are going to look like on the resonance watches. Okay, I'd really like to hear from you. Get your get your thoughts on this. And uh, until next time, this is, oh, Sunday, we have another collection review. And until then, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Side, the art and science of Watch Collection. <laughs>